Has the Honorable Supreme Court just banned the feeding of stray dogs in India? Hey everyone! So this video is about a recent order passed by the Supreme Court on a case relating to stray dogs care where unfortunately there has been a lot of confusion, panic and stress to stray dog feeders and caregivers in general. Headlines such as these don't seem to help as well. So we're only going to share the most relevant information here. We have spoken to lawyers, we have seen and read statements from other lawyers and legal counselors as well. On top of that, we have done a lot of our own research to understand the situation better. For the current situation to make sense and to add some context, we need to look at a case in 2015 when the Supreme Court had requested all high courts to refrain from passing any orders on the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act and the 2001 rules pertaining to dogs. In June 2021 though, the Honorable Delhi High Court had actually passed additional guidelines to the care of community or stray dogs, ordering the Animal Welfare Board of India, the AWBI, and resident welfare associations across Delhi to actually set up animal welfare committees, train their security guards to handle dogs better, organize awareness campaigns to the benefit of stray dogs, and more. And these are the guidelines that have been stayed for the time being. But does this impact your right to feed stray dogs or a stray dog's right to food and general care? To answer this question, we need to travel back in time again to a case in 2014 when the Supreme Court read five fundamental freedoms into the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. And these freedoms include freedoms from hunger, thirst and malnutrition, freedom from fear and distress, freedom from physical and thermal discomfort, freedom from pain, injury or disease, and, and the freedom to express natural patterns of behavior. And legally, these are the five freedoms that enable a stray dog to have the right to food and general care. As for the feeders and caregivers, we are all protected by Article 51AG and 51AH. These are fundamental duties defined by the Constitution that enable you to care for the environment and the animals as well. Let us clarify that as of now, no one can legally stop you from feeding or caring for stray dogs. Do note though that even non-dog lovers have certain rights. Be responsible feeders. When choosing a feeding spot, make sure you find a location that causes the least feasible inconvenience to the people around us, but it should be within the territory of the dogs and it should be safe for both the dogs and you as feeders or caregivers. Nobody, nobody can force you to go to a dark, dingy corner to feed the stray dogs. Basically, find some middle ground to make sure that it is a peaceful and happy experience for you and the dogs. Also, please make sure to clean up after feeding the dogs. Use bowls or at least newspapers when feeding them. We need to be bulletproof. Let's not give anyone a chance to raise any reasonable objection towards us, the feeders and caregivers alike. Please also make sure that the dogs that you're caring for are both sterilized and vaccinated. Lastly, please be calm when faced with harassment. Do not panic or bend over. Know that as long as you're being responsible, the law protects you. Harassment is bad and even criminal. Make sure to keep this information handy to make things easier for you. We are going to share a link to a folder in which we have compiled all the relevant documents and Kamna is going to make a reference list as well to make it easier for you to find that information. Also, share this video as much as possible so we can spread the word and control the misinformation. Until next time, this is a Paw 5 and a lot of love from us to you. Take care.